Simply Done, the podcast network. What's the matter? Me? Yeah, you. Mole comes upstairs. He starts in like, uh, I'm with this guy that's laying out up on the top balcony. Yeah? Get by the thing, see if your mic's working. Come on, sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. I got things to do. Sit the fuck down. Shut this off. Okay, what what happened now? Mole opens up the uh, the door. I didn't even see this guy upstairs, cause there's like two levels outside, and um, Mole goes whoa. Yeah. And uh, I didn't pay it. I didn't even see this guy sitting there. I was I was seated on the um, you know over at the table. And uh, Mole, Mole's acting like, whoa, I got to get out of here. I don't want to be involved with this. Like like, like I'm doing some gay shit. You know, this gay fucking shit better calm the fuck down or, or I'm going to find a way and end it all. What are you talking about? Mole's bullshit. Hey, no, but- hey Mole. Whoa, hey, Scare Master Man. Whoa, do I get headphones? Yeah, right there. It's... Uh- all right. What what happened upstairs? Perry's losing his mind. There we are. I got By my the way. cans on. All right. Whoa. All right. Are we doing the show now? In a, just a second. Start Real over. quick. No. About that, shut up. About that shut game. up. Fuck you. Shut, shut up. Fuck you. Shut up. Shut up. Sit up. Sit down. Shut up. Sit down. We're starting the show. Hit the music. Take my pills now. I got the yo man's gone. Coming to you pre-recorded from Simply Don the Podcast Network Studios at a secret location in West Hollywood, California. It's the Big Three Podcast. I'm Don Barris. I'm all. Don't even ask who I am because I'm pissed. Well then, you know what? That's a, I couldn't think of a better way to start the show to tell you the truth. Now, what happened? I know who it is. It's Perry. Yeah, it is Perry. What I'm a little confused about, Perry came down here in a crazy mood. What happened upstairs? Uh, I got to apologize, Scare Master, man. I really, I'm sorry, man. That is my fault. What happened? I should, not, I should have knocked before I went out into the roof deck. Mole opens up the door. I know, I and mean, I didn't seated. knock. I didn't know he was up there, okay? He's up there, there's another dude up there, and whatever. You know what? What? As everybody knows, we're in a secret location in West Hollywood, and things happen here. He's a good-looking guy. Maybe he met a guy, and the guy was starstruck. Look, I don't know what happened. Look, look. But there was a guy with his shirt off. The guy, and, the guy that was above. Uh, you don't have to explain anything. Deck. I should have knocked. Stupid it's fuck. My fault. Retard. I, exactly. I won't yeah, do it again. Retard. I will knock next time. Retard. Okay. I apologize. What you do apologize is your business. Apologize for what? For not knocking. Knocking for what? I don't give a fuck. Right. Well, I didn't even see the fucking guy. Clearly, I caught you in the throes of a tryst. Clearly, your brain is Perry, fucking twisted. Perry, let me let me try to help you with this, okay? Perry came down here and he started with all this stuff about he doesn't want anybody calling him gay anymore. Right. And this is kind of pointing towards that direction, if you know what I mean. So uh, let's. Oh let's, well. Oh well. Right. Well. Yeah. I didn't do a fucking thing, Jagoff. I know. It was I didn't me. even see the fucking guy, Jagoff. You didn't see the guy, Jagoff? No, I didn't see anybody. Wait, I'm, a, I'm a, what, up wait there? a second. What? Jerk off! I don't want to know what you guys are doing. I don't, I don't even know who this fucking know. guy is. I don't want to hear it. 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 I don't just drop it. Hear it. Just drop it. Did you see him jacking off up there? No. I walked in. I saw for one second. I saw Perry looked really like scared. Like, oh my god, what are you doing here? And the guy stood up in his chair and he didn't have any shirt on, and you know, it was just awkward. And I felt terrible. And Perry, I apologize. And it won't happen again. Yeah, right. Okay, beautiful. Then we can start the show. Then. All right. Now, if you've never heard our show before. We were the stars of the cult classic film, Windy City Heat, and now we've got our own podcast. We were on Ace Broadcasting, but now we are recording from a secret location in West Hollywood, California. One of the things that makes us different than any other podcast, radio show, or even television show in this day and age, what we're here to do... Turn my volume down. We talk about pop culture and... What makes us different, Down. we then also talk about our Down. own personal lives. Perry, what the fuck is your problem He's today? got my fucking volume up and I'm taking see. my headphones off. Let me just see. All right, try it now. Fucking animals, the is, both of you. Is it working? 
No, it's okay. not working. Right, let me turn it down then. Try it now. Christ. How about now? Test, 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 it's test. It's still fucking way Harry, too loud. Shut up. Lower. Hello. Uh, how's check, this? Check, check. How's this? That's better. Okay. God. Now, uh, one thing that we should start off with right away. Uh, Neil Leeds from Leeds Mattresses is no longer part of our show. What? Yeah. I, people were picking on him and calling him and saying things about him. Even somebody talked about, and this is what ticks me off. Somebody got in touch with him and talked about buying a mattress from him and saying that there was urine on it and it was lumpy. I know for a fact what? the people that saw that online... This guy is lying. Neil Leeds would not sell bedding that is even close to being poor. He's known, not as, the, at he's all. known as the most quality bed uh, salesman in the entire Absolutely. California area. In the country. And we're very sad to lose him as part of the show. He was going to You know what is sad? You know what really what is, is sad? It? it turns out he will be beat what do by you mean? pranksters. You know, Mole? He won't be beat by the price. No but way, he won't, he won't be beat his by price. Pr- by pranks that right. might be the smartest thing that you've ever said, Mark. Right? Yeah. What about that time when I said you shouldn't eat that dirt? Well, I wasn't really eating dirt. Oh, I was eating the dirt. Exactly. So, guys, if you're out there and you're listening, please leave Neil Leeds alone. Don't try to call him. I know his phone number's been out there. Don't try to write funny things on the internet about him because he's no longer part of Simply Done, the podcast network, the big three, and of course, there is not going to be a show, Pillow Talk with Neil Lee. It's called respect. Yeah, I know it. It's called respect, and when you don't show respect, how do you expect to get respect in return? How do you expect respect? I I get fucking pissed off when everybody gives me shit. Who gives you shit? I get a bunch of cocksuckers online that do the same thing to me. Yeah, exactly. Well, They say I'm gay. They keep bringing up the Randy Callahan matter, which Randy Callahan matter was 1992. Right, right. If they bring up the what thing that happened this? today. I think it's almost 2012. Exactly. If they brought up Randy Callahan, that's wrong because it's a long time ago. If they brought up what happened today in mid-September in 2011 up on the roof in West Hollywood, different that's story. That's still wrong. Current event. It's still wrong. What do you mean I, it's wrong? Because I don't know the guy that was on the above deck. Whoa, so you were I the bottom. It. Whoa. <laughs> This is unbelievable. You know the outside has two decks. I didn't even recognize oh, that there was I a don't want to hear about He doesn't want to hear about He doesn't want to see you in that way. Well, you know what we should do to start out today's show? Kind of right at the beginning. We should do this. It's uh, it's where you, the home listener, can be part of the Big Three Fun. You send $10 to us and you get yourself a $10 shout out. $10 shout out. Now, if you've never heard the show before... uh. And you want to be part of the the fun here at the Big Three Podcast? You can send us ten dollars, ten dollars cash, no checks, no money orders, none of that legal shit. You send it to seven five one zero Sunset Boulevard, uh, number one five three. That's Hollywood, California nine zero zero four six. Send that to us, and you will get yourself a shout out where you can say something to anybody, and it's a lot of people have had fun today. Unfortunately, we don't have any shout outs except for one, really. Now, if you're not familiar, we when we were still at Ace Broadcasting to try to get money for the studio, we had an auction where we had a Neil Leeds bed. We had your neck brace that oh, you actually Oh, I remember wore. when Neil Leeds was on the show. Yeah. But the, the guys out there started calling him and saying things that weren't nice. And now, Neil Leeds runs a family business, for God's sake. He can't be messing around with this. He May I make a comment about the Neil? The language that we use? Go ahead. Neil would call me up profusely late at night, like about 9, 10 o'clock at night, and start ragging on me, thinking, I wouldn't say ragging, but he'd start getting on my case over the matter. He goes, the first thing out of his mouth would be, have you talked to Don today? And then he'd start railroading in on all this garbage that's that uh, the phone calls that he got, the emails that he got. And I mean, this was like one or two days ago, and I called Mary Jane after... Uh, um, my phone call, I believe it was two days ago. Was it two days ago or yesterday? Okay. By well, the way, we forgot to say hello to Mary Jane. Who is Hi, Mary Jane. Jane. How are you, Mary Jane? Hello. Oh, it's How nice. Good? good, very good. Anyway, you were saying. Real quick, you know, about Neil, he's a real nice guy and everything, but 
you know, he, he sounds like he's an uh, an obsessive drug user or something with the way he was talking to me. All right, stop me. right there. Stop You know, right what, first there. off, he's as clean as, as uh, something that's clean. And you know what? You shouldn't call people some stuff like, you know, that they're not. Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly why he's no longer part of the Big Three podcast, because people got in his face. And people I wonder- used to say I was on drugs and stuff. Well, you were. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, he was getting really outraged, and that kind of bugged me yeah. about the way everybody's bothering him. And there's, and then he would, he goes, "Look, man," he goes, "I own a family company," and he goes, "This pillow talk and stuff." And then he goes, "Just, just Google my name," and and uh, and then he would start stuttering, "Just go, 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 Google my name." And I'm, th- I'm thinking, oh, my God. You're the guy that gets on mole for going up and finding you with some guy sunbathing. I'm upstairs. not with some guy. All right, but, but, I didn't all see right. the guy. That, you know what that is? That's a rumor. And now you're saying the same thing about Neil. Neil's as clean as a whistle, for God's sake. Oh, good. That's it. Clean as a whistle. That, exactly. Okay, good. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to start. I don't the, want to start. But any, anyway, the point garbage. is, is just to kind of wrap up the Neil lead thing. Please, whatever you do, leave Neil alone. Exactly. Don't call him. Don't write about him. I say to the fans out there of the Big Three podcast, please stop bothering Neil Leeds. Now, Not a prank matter. But if you want to get a good mattress and a good bed, shop. Hey, at stop, Leeds stop, mattress. stop. No, he's no longer a sponsor. So don't push his product. All, All right, right, then go to Costco and buy your stuff. You'll get it for a third of the price. All right. We ran an auction where you could get a bed from Neil Leeds, a, a well, neck brace. Why are you brace. talking about Neil Leeds? Because, because it was what oh, was part oh, of the oh, thing. Oh, oh. You got your neck brace that you wore that after. You had your broken neck right. operation where we had everyone sign that. Right. Well, anyway, the winner of that auction was a guy, Rucka Rucka Ali. And one of the things that he got for winning that auction was he got a free $10 shout up, but he got to do it himself. So if we could, this is the great Rucka Rucka Ali. What's up, bitches? <laughs> it's Rucka Rucka. Suck my motherfucking dick if you ain't one of Rucka's knuckers. Ali. It's my $10 shout out. For I push this $10 rock and pop you in the back of the fucking skull. The Glock. Shout out my peoples at Pine Grove Records. My peoples in West B. All the ruckus knuckers. What's up, Don Moe? Perry. Yeah. Oh, I'm Perry Caravello. I'm a big star now. I'm so rich and famous. I got paid $10 million to do Windy City Heat. Well, fuck you then, motherfucker. You a big star, huh? Deleting motherfuckers on Facebook. All right, y'all, that's it for me. So congratulations to the big three. Y'all got a new studio. Ain't no one going to tell you what the fuck to say now. It's free speech. It's America, motherfucker. Ruckus knuckers for life. Ruckus knuckers. Wow. Rucka, I Rucka, be Rucka Ali. Ruckus Much respect. Let me explain Rucka. something to Rucka Rucka Ali. Rucka Rucka Ali, if you got your ears on your has got life, mad love piece for you. of shit. Whoa. Number one, ten million dollars. I never got paid. That was a lawsuit that I bitched about. Oh, so I you... never got paid that amount of money for doing Windy City you're, Heat. Babe, you're not sounding like a knucker right now. No, you're not. Not at all. I'm not because I got no respect for the guy that thinks he he knows what he's talking about. Because I never got that kind of money for real. For doing this for, for reals. For real. Real, not real. For reals. You got no mad mad love for Rocka Rocka. No. I can't get with that. For shizzle my nizzle, I guess. By the way, yeah. Rucka Rucka, a big fan of the show, and we're very glad to have him. And that was Rucka Rucka's $10 shout-out. $10 shout-out! Yeah. Well, anyway, that was the $10 show. Keep in mind, if you want to be part of the fun here, send $10 to us, and you can get your own little shout-out. Mo, what, what has been going on with you? I... Never even talk to you anymore. What's been happening with you? Anything? You know what? What's that? Not not really a lot of stuff. Well, there you go. Oh, yeah. wait, wait. You know what, I, what it is? See what? my shirt? I went. They were getting rid of my brother. They were getting rid of my brother Eddie's uh, storage unit back home. They were closing it up. And, wait uh, a minute, You have my a brother? Mom, my, he's my identical twin brother, Eddie. <laughs> wait a minute. You have a twin brother? You know, yeah, I told you about Eddie. 
I don't remember you How ever How many brothers and me. sisters do you have? I don't want to talk about my family right now, okay? But I haven't... I, I know about your father. Yeah. He was a one-time cop, wasn't uh, he's he? He's a rogue cop. But at one time, was he a cop? Yeah, but he was a special cop. He's a rogue cop. And... Um, <clears throat> That's and, a government official. Right. Oh, okay. Well, someone plays by their own rules. Yeah. But um, my brother, Eddie, ran track for Yale... And um, he was really heavily into experimental stuff on animals and stuff, but he disappeared. So no one's seen him for a lot of years, but he had a lot of stuff in his storage unit. My mom just sent me a bunch of his stuff, like his shirts and some like syringes Very for cool, animals, but full of this animal is... serum. What? <laughs> That's a long story. Well, let me ask you this. You mentioned Eddie. I don't... How many brothers do you have, honestly? I really got to kind of figure that out, man, because, you know... This... Do you have any sisters? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know you got a sister. Shut the fuck up, Perry. Well, you said you got a sister. Yeah, and I, I met a I met an Elizabeth Barris on a film set one time. Well, that has nothing to do with me. Okay. Because I, I think the Barris name is a very small community. No, it isn't. George Barris, George yeah. Barris Jr. Okay. The Barris okay. Automobile. Scaremaster would like my sister Jolinda, who used to be a foot model. <laughs> What? Yeah. Really? How old yeah. is she? She is younger than I am. Happy birthday. Um, cake. You're candles. my age. I'm trying to figure out how many candles on a cake. Okay, so when I was saying she had how many candles. Oh, let's just forget it. Let's just, can we move on, please? Linda. She's about your age, Scaremaster? No, I said she's younger than me, dude. And in, in my age is the same age as you, dude. No, dude. Yeah, dude. You uh, have a brother, don't you? He's the I one that ripped older you brothers. off. I Which got one, one brother? That, the middle son ripped me on my oldest brother off. Yes. Which brother was that? Brian. What did he do again? He robbed. My Is that Lebrant? Liberante. Lebrant was one name that he owned. How do you own a name? By changing your name from your birth name to another name. Like when you were Caramello. Carabello. So he's no longer wow. a Caramello? He changed it, it, it? Look, there was never a Caramello. That's yes, a there was. Bar. Yes, there was. Carabello. I see it everywhere. Right now. C-A-R-A-B. Uh, as in car. I'm saving you can't remember. If you'd shut the fuck up. You shut talking. the fuck up. I'm trying to tell you what your name is. C-A-R is in car. B-M-E-L-O. Bip, 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 bip. One thing, you speaking of Caramello, I would Carabello. like to say... This. What's your favorite ELO song? My favorite ELO song? Is that what you're asking? I'll tell you this. If you, you ever listen to the song Fire on High from, an, I believe it's Face the Music, you the very first song on that CD is called Fire on High. And if you listen to it, it sounds like they say... Don Barris. Whoa. Don Barris. You are yeah, freaking me out. Slow. By the way, it's, so people oh, should look shit. that up there. On you Get that song, Fire and High, and tell me if that is true. A lot of people really have gotten into the fact they never knew about the fact that we made Windy City Heat is kind of like the video for the album Pink Floyd's Dark Side, Dark of, the Side of the Moon. People didn't know that, and now they're getting in touch with us like crazy. Another thing that the people on the internet really are interested in is, again, Cookie Caramello. They're going Caravello. crazy about that. Now, here's the thing that happened this past week. <sighs> Perry, one day... Now, first of all, how old is Cookie now? 85. Now, Caravello, he, his name is 85 Chris. 85 years young. Yeah. You got in touch Today's with me Today's my other... aunt's birthday. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why I want to get over there by six. You know what? With that for dinner. Yeah, not, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. No shot in hell. Where she right. live? Near me. Okay, let's get back to this. In the Navy, he was known as he was a cook, and he was yes. known as Cookie. No, he wasn't. All right, you don't know that. You don't nothing. You don't about know. It. We're telling you the history of your father in the military. Yeah, sure. All right. Anyway, well, here's the crazy thing. He's 85 years old, and the other day. You tried to get in touch with me, and you said, I need $4,000. Right. And then you told he's me. he's been bugging me for money. You so gave him money, I right? I gave him six. You gave him $6,000. Yes. For what? For his eyes, because he's going blind. He's diabetic, and he's going blind. So what was he getting for his eyes? 
<laughs> eye surgery, a new lens. And so did it work? For, for uh, well, the first, uh, the first surgery they fucked up because of the, because of the. Because uh, um, you got on a Groupon? Oh, Christ. Talking to it's the It's the VA, those VA fuckers fucked his eye up. The vegetable drink? The v- veterans. Not V8. Not V8. V8. Veterans. Veterans Administration. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those cocksuckers ruined his one eye. Hey, d- you know what? This is a this is not the time to be putting down the brave men and women. In yeah, I will put okay? down the brave men and women that don't know how to fucking be doctors when they're supposed to be fucking veterans. All right. Well, we're not talking about that. What we're talking about is you text me, and I I just want to know where your head's at with this because I'm, I'm crazy. You right now. said that you wanted to borrow four thousand dollars from me. Not right. even borrow. You needed four thousand right, dollars from me for my dad's for my dad's eye surgery. Now he's eighty-five years old. Mm-hmm. All right. He's bitching about, oh, I'm gonna go blind. Uh, when I, when you needed help, I paid for your help. Uh, this is what he's saying. To yeah. You. And you've already given him six thousand dollars. Yeah, and he needs another four. And then you came to me, and asked for help from you. And then you said in a text that I should do the right thing and give you the money, if you can. No, you didn't say that. I didn't say that, but I'm saying it now. Okay, but what you did is you said, do the right thing and give me the money, and then you had about 62 exclamation points. Pfft. Oh, that's it? All right, but the <laughs> point is, is Perry, why, I know, it's, it's why crazy. Sh- but Perry, I, I told know. you I put all my money into the studio. I know. Okay? Come on, man. Don't Get- even, look, forget it. My dad is a fucking ballistic maniac, and I don't even want to deal with him right now. Can I ask one question? Shoot. If he goes blind, is he still going to be able to cook? I, I, and how I, are I those men it. on the ship going to eat if he's blind? He's not if he on knows the ship he's grabbing, anymore. supposed to be grabbing salt, no. and he grabs um, the like the alum, like in a Bugs Bunny commercial uh, right, cartoon, right. like in a Bugs Bunny cartoon. Well, if he does that, my, this is not a cartoon. My guess would be that he'd have to have an assistant. Because I think that cooking is kind of like, it's like a stick shift. Once you get used to it, you can do it in your sleep, basically. And I think that what he'll have to do is he'll have to have an assistant standing by him. Uh, What if he's sitting on the bow of the ship and he sees a Japanese battleship come up? My stepmom does very well He's not going to see it. He's not going to see it. He's going to be blind. He's going to be sitting on the bow of the ship and there's going to be a Japanese destroyer right off the port. And he's not going to even say it. Well, yeah, I, I yeah, hate this yeah. train now. I, I don't think he's part of the military anymore. He's he, hasn't not been, the, he hasn't been a part of the military for years. Was he dishonorably discharged from the military? They kicked no. out Cookie? What's that? They kicked out Cookie? He had, uh, I think he World War II. I think things. World War II ended. Duh. Oh. Oh. Plus, I think he did a lot of things on the ship. That oh, later right, he had to right. go to trial. Yeah, on. The Admiral and the... Yes. Neil Leeds is gone, and I again, I just want to say to the people, please do not bother him. Uh, it's enough. Leave Neil alone. Thank you, Perry. But we still do have one sponsor with us, and we do need sponsors. So if you want your product out there and you want to make a lot of money, sponsor the Big 3 Podcast. Now, we do have one sponsor left. It's ASM Plumbing and Porn. ASM Plumbing and Porn is your one stop for all your plumbing and hardcore man-on-man porn concerns. Call 440-731-9338. Hi, friends. It's your old pal from the cult classic film, Windy City Heat, and from the podcast that makes you glad that you're internet savvy, The Big Three Podcast. Well, I'm here to talk to you once again about an American company that has broken new business ground. Two brothers from Ohio took a very, very successful plumbing business, and they combined it with their true love, hardcore man-on-man porn. And that's how they formed ASM Plumbing and Porn. Now, we're supposed to have the VO from Terrifying Tim, who's the new spokesman for him. That but sounds I, good. But I, we don't have that. Can we have it next week? I, I would hope so. That's what I'm kind of hoping. But now I kind of feel bad because we're supposed to be doing a commercial. and We could do a commercial. But who's going to be the spokesman? We could do my commercial. For ASM Plumbing and Porn? No, Scary Perry Skateboard. Okay, well, that comes during your 60 seconds. Well, my 60 seconds, it's go! Not, no, it's not ready. We got to finish ASM Plumbing and well, Porn. Well, then let's finish ASM Plumbing and Porn. You got it in your hands, you read well, it. Well, this is the old one from when you... Well, then you read it. I'm not going to... It's re- in your hands. Read it. 
Read uh, it. Go, 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 go! No, I think you should read it. No, I think you should Mole, read it. what do you think? Should we have him read it? No, I don't want to read it. Perry? Read it. All right, you know what? This is why you're stupid, Perry. I'm not stupid. Uh, I'm uh, just an right. argument of bastard! All right, here's why I say you're stupid, because... What Give me the fucking Okay, commercial. let me just explain something to you. You lost this job. I know for a fact, Terrifying Tim is now doing commercials that are going to And air. making a zillion dollars. I don't think he's making a zillion dollars. That's a little All right, he's making $1,000 a day. It, That's right. enough. All right. Well, you lost out on that because you couldn't read this right. Do you want to try to show Give it, it to, to him me. again? And read it professional. Try Please. to do the best job you can. Hi, boys and girls. Hi, my name is Scary Perry. Yeah, Scary Perry Car Avello. From the Big Three Podcast. And from the cult classic film, Windy City Heat. I'm here today because I want my fans to know that when I'm playing with myself, the Scaremaster is playing a homophobic, racist, male chauvinistic, moronic fool. But when I'm away from the gang, I love watching hardcore man-on-man Gay porn. <laughs> I consider myself straight because even when, even though I've only committed one gay act back in the day, I found that I didn't like it. <laughs> Just because I didn't like my experience back in 1992, almost 20 fucking years ago, it does mean that I can't enjoy watching hardcore man-on-man porn? Oh my god. And again, my name, Scary Perry Caravello for ASM Plumbing and Porn. That's ASM Plumbing and Porn, 440-731-9338. Wow, I got to tell you, after a day of sunbathing with men, you really... A day of sunbathing with men? Yeah, you stepped that one up. Hey, wait a second, you guys! Oh, oh, oh! You're very vocal today. Very... Yeah, because you guys all think I'm fucking gay! I don't think you're fucking gay. All right, you think I'm gay? <laughs> Ever since your manager... <laughs> put into your contract that you get 60 seconds to talk about whatever you want for 60 seconds. I've always thought you were great. And I think maybe it's time for that right now. Go! To get a Scary Perry skateboard or skateboard t-shirt, go online to www.scary, P as in Peter, E-R-R-Y, skateboards is spelt S is in Sam, K is in King, the number eight, and boards, B-O-A-R-D-S dot com. Order. There's coming to be a fifth board in the collection of Scary Perry skateboards. It'll be a black bottom 10-inch wide double kick fashioned cut tail board. Again, it's a, it's a more stylish 10-wide double kick. But it is, of course, Scary's Back in Black model. And no, I don't have Back in Black's authority. Yeah, you're going to get sued for that. They're not going to sue me. Yeah, yeah they, they are. are. These guys are friends of mine. No. Stop! All right, that was 60 Seconds with Perry. Uh, I didn't even get to see my prices. Well, you've got to go through it. and you got to get to it. you got to rehearse it. You have 60 seconds. Well, oh, if you want my no, prices. No, shut up, shut up. Don't, I'll, I'll edit it out. I'll edit it this out. They can I'll find edit out. this they'll out. Find next week. They'll yeah. find out next week. All right, they'll find out next week. That's a real cliffhanger to find out what goes on next week. You should do a terrifying Tim oh. Those are super popular. Those are selling like no. crazy. You know what? I think since the... Uh, the 10th anniversary of 9-11, I think, terrifying Tim because of what he did to help oh, out. He didn't money. put up the fucking money. A lot of people have really He did not put website. up the fucking and money. His skateboards, even his uh, snowboards, they are selling They're like not crazy. selling because they're not even on the market. Anyway, we took care of the business. That's the business for today. Now, is that a phone call? Could is you... it Quincy? I don't know. He's fucked, you guys. He's Hello? Hey, hello, is this the Buck Choy Boy Toy Hotline? What you, what no, it's the Big Three. Oh, 
hello, Big Three. How is everyone? We're pretty good. good. How, are, how yeah. are you, dude? But joy, boy, joy. How are you, well, dude? Well, I must admit, Mole, I'm a bit under the weather, and I could use a touch of medicine. You mean HN? Precisely. Oh, Mr. Adams, you're, you're not, not doing that. You're well, not doing that Mr. Again, Bums, here's what's what. I looked at Mole's remarkable weight loss and figured I should jump on the bandwagon too. Maybe shed some pounds before I shop for my fall wardrobe. Mr. Adams, I'm sure you look fine, right, Perry? Heroin, and what's that other one? Narcan. Listen, 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 all of you. You want the truth? Yeah. I hate my hips. I hate them. Oh, jeez. Oh, my so, God. Are you going to do a joke or, or why? I mean... Oh, God, yes, I am. <laughs> Here we hips. are. We Why do you hate your hips, mister? What Shut is up. the largest living ant in the world? An elephant. Oh, <laughs> Wunderbar, that's a, Mole. That's a good now one. I'm heading to Alvarado and Pico to get right. Toodles. Well, there An you elephant. go. An uh, elephant. He's been, you know what John happened? Quincy. He found my old stash, and he started doing the uh, HN. Oh, no. That's all. Heroin we need. and what's that other one again? Tired narcotics in general. Now, if Our you're not narcotics. familiar with John Quincy Adams, John Quincy Adams, of course, was the producer of Windy City Heat. It wasn't he one of the producers? Well, he was one of the producers, but he was the guy that really got the ball rolling. What would you say he did on that movie, Mole? He was the visionary. He was the saw. Yeah. He was the British guy on the phone. Right, and he was the guy that continued to uh, stick around. He's kind of been around. Stuck with us when no one else would. Exactly. So Didn't he provide me with uh, Jiggly Wriggly? I think he did. I think he did on your request. What, yeah, what? Because all those other broads that were in the uh, casting call were... <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, that day? Yeah. There was, like a, there was like a dozen chicks there, and there were two that I liked, but... Which two? Know. The one that had the nice, the, the one that had the real nice body. The black girl. No, 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 not that one. There was one that was all over me. She was kind of flat, but, uh, but uh, like her she, performance, her performance. No, her body. Oh, now you're talking about from Windy City Heat. That's from Windy City Heat. That scene actually made it into the movie, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Okay, I, I think there was the black girl. She was kind of cute. I would date her. But I mean, I wouldn't stay with her. I would why date not? Her. Why? Because you're racist. No, it's not that I'm racist. But why wouldn't you Look, stay? Look, dude, with I've I've gone out with several black girls before. Tell us about it. Why is this man on man? Not, oh, should we do that? Let's do. We guy shouldn't talk. do man on man. I'd rather do guy talk. <laughs> this guy, I'm telling you, ever since I went to the roof. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what, did you, what did you see? You open up the door and you saw the second. He doesn't want to hear this. He doesn't want to see you that way. All right, well, well, let's do this. Right now, Time. we got... Shut the fuck up, Perry. Why do you got to interrupt the only thing that I get to do? Because... Shut up. Okay, what we got here, we got three guys sitting around at a secret location in West Hollywood just talking about the ladies. Once again, it's time for Guy Talk. Oh, yeah. It's Guy Talk gonna talk about the ladies guy talk Ooh. now which which chicks do you want me to talk about I, the ones from uh, windy city heat the ones that i've dated or do you want to talk about uh, that bowling ball you've been sucking through that fucking garden hose what isn't that what you like to do on a fucking crazy ass day when you can't get any real pussy? Oh wait, uh, you've been getting. Some wait real a second, hold now. on, just a second. Let me ask you something, Perry. You're one to talk. Mole caught you up sunbathing with. Some I guy wasn't on the... sunbathing. What, God damn it! What'd you see, Mole? There's a dude. There's another on dude. An upper deck. And this dude doesn't want to think about it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. How can he respond to that, Perry? Because I didn't even see the other dude until Mo opened the door. I heard a lot of guys shut their eyes when they do things. Oh, my God. I opened the door. I walked to the table right off off the ledge. Now, to the left, which I never knew that I never paid attention to stairs there. There's a staircase and another deck. Uh, you know, I didn't I never knew any of them. Blah. Can't even talk right now. I never knew there was another deck out there. 
You know what? Can, may may the I interrupt you real quick? Yeah, I never realized maybe, it. maybe that's God making you not be able to talk because what you're talking about is so fucking boring. Now, you really wanted to get into guy talk today. All right, and, let's uh, talk about the guy talk. All right, go. Yeah, about the women's, the ones in on uh, Windy City Heat. No, I want to know why you wouldn't have stayed with the black girl. The one in Windy City Heat, why I wouldn't be dating her? I think that's what we were you talking about. You said you would date her, but you wouldn't stay with her. Well, I wouldn't, I wasn't, she's not my type. She's not an Italian chick. She's not sexy like Denise Russo. I mean, you know, <clears throat> I really shouldn't be saying her last name. Who's no, Denise Russo? Should, but now that you did. That's okay. Who's Denise Russo? She's one hot babe that I met at uh, this this set called Spiel, Spiel It. Spiel It. Where Spiel was it. this? And in, when was in this? In downtown actually? L.A. A when few was weeks this? Ago, a few weeks ago. We do an extra work? I was an audience member with uh, Lydia. Lydia. Yeah. Okay, I remember you Lydia. You know Lydia. Yeah. My, my long lost old friend from uh, way back in the 80s with uh, her brother. Her brother okay. is a musician. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's not That explanation is going to mean nothing. It means nothing because you're not into, into music like I am. Oh, really? But yes, you are. What am I talking about? You've okay. got more. You've got more music CDs and more record albums than fucking Doctor Demento. Oh, oh, oh! Boy, you are on fire. Nothing really to say, but you are on fire today. So tell me about this girl. Or are you not allowed well, to talk about her? No, I can talk about her. I mean, you know, uh, the black chick on set, which the name I don't even know. The Denise is a doll and a half. So you um, just look at her as the black chick. On the on the film set, I'll say yeah. I'll just look at her as the black chick because pff, I don't remember her name, and that that's it. But um, Denise, when I met her, it was like my eyes were opened, and wow, I mean wow, wow what? Wow, she's Italian girl, hot body, great mover, meaning you know she knows how to dance and stuff. Does she know Moller myself? I don't think so. Did but you ask she, her? I I kind of asked her if she's. Uh, heard of the big three and she said no she's never heard of us but I think she does now um, I mean after she looked my stuff up on the internet and stuff so I think she knows who you and Mola are and, and things and I also when you mentioned meet Windy some City Heat when you meet somebody do you mention that you were in the movie Windy City Heat uh, yeah I mentioned that I'm I'm the star of the cult classic on Comedy Central Windy City Heat and sometimes they go oh yeah I remember that movie you know Sometimes they say that, and sometimes they go, "I never heard of that film," you know. So it's, and some of the people that act like, "Oh, I never heard of that movie," you know. It's like, please, it's it's the attitude that you see coming out of them when they're like, "I never heard of that film," like, "Who the fuck do you think you are?" It's like, I don't even need to talk to you if you're going to give me that attitude. Yeah, absolutely not. If you're going to give you that kind of attitude. Well, anyway, this has really been a great guy talk. You really opened up some things that we never knew before about your relationship with women. Like, nothing. Ex oh, yeah. <laughs> that was it. I it's like Eric's style. Top. He knows when it's over. <laughs> it's not over with. Oh, it's Stop. over. So, anyway, that was another guy talk, and... Really bad today. Good job, Perry. Way to blow it. Uh, it sounds like you got a new uh, tech in there. Yeah. What's uh, his name? Eric Moreno is here today. Eric Moreno. Cool. Yeah. He is the younger brother of Dan Moreno. Do you know where who Dan Moreno is? I know a I know a comedian, Dan Moreno. Let me ask you this, Perry. What's your favorite sports team of all? You know my favorite teams. All right. What? Team? All my home Galaxy. teams. Galaxy. Galaxy is where's where's the uh, isn't that a Sparks. soccer team? Sparks. Yes, it is. The yeah, Sparks. Is it the LA Galaxy or the, the uh, LA Galaxy? The LA Sparks. I don't remember the Sparks. Sparks is the WNBA team. Ah, that's right. Okay, but what is your favorite team? If you had to say your favorite team of all time, Chicago Bears, Chicago okay. Cubs, okay. Chicago White Sox, all Chicago right. Blackhawks. Who's your favorite Chicago Cub ever? God, he never played. Ernie on Banks. Cubs. Ernie Banks, and he was on. Oh, he was yeah. in Windy City Heat. Right. Who was your second favorite? I don't have one because I don't remember any of them. You don't know anybody else's name from I, the Chicago I Cubs am, and their history. God, I, I am. I am what if third. I told you, I will give you ten thousand dollars if you can tell me one name of another Chicago Cub. Just one Cub? Yeah, I'm not going to do it. But what if I told you that? Could you name another guy? I doubt it. Yeah. 
who's your favorite Chicago Bear then? Um, started with Gail Sears and Brian Piccolo, and then Brian passed away, of course. He what? did? I, he, I forgot what kind of cancer Whoa, whoa, when did that happen? Back in the late 60s, early 70s. Wow. What did, we, wait, 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 wait. You uh, got to back it up, back it up. We're talking the movie Brian song. He was a very... Here's the song. If the heads of time were heads that I could hold, I don't, I can't, I can't. Take it easy, Maul. Are you okay? <laughs> it's that stupid song. It is that stupid song. All right, hey, this next segment is clearly the best thing that we do on this podcast. Again, this might be one of the best things done on the airwaves today. It's time once again for Mole Play. Mole Play. Mole Play. Mole Play. Let's play Mole Play. Mole Play. Mole Play. Let's play Mole Play. Mole Play. Now, if you've never heard the show and you don't know what Mole Play is, we first have to do one quick word. Mole, can you tell us what you're supposed to say? Yeah. Uh, Mole Play is in no way associated with Mole Play, the board game, a division of Propedic Industries. But I think that lawsuit's going away because most of those kids died. What happened? Nothing. Let's just... Can you, can you shed you a little light on that? Are you involved no? with the lawsuit? No, no, nope, nope. Okay, well, anyway, uh, if... Mole play is an improv game that we play here where Mole will set up a scenario, he'll set the cast, and then he directs the scene. Mole, what are we going to be doing on Mole play today? There's so many things to think about today. There's Perry being on the bottom of the deck upstairs on the roof with that guy. But I'm not going there, Wait a minute, before Master. Another little thing that we didn't even talk about because I, the fans on Facebook, they've been going crazy about Perry's love of women's feet. Well, is, maybe that'll come into play. Can I bring okay. that? Oh, I should have brought maybe up that, Carol, too. Well, Carol Heather who? and Carol. Really kind of derailing You know, you know Heather right from downstairs. Yeah, Heather. But yeah. we're, we're, we're going to set and the Carol. scene right now. Let, let me hear this real quick. Just go, let, let them tell Okay, go ahead. All right. What happened? All right. What happened? You know what happened that day when I was all over uh, Heather's feet downstairs? Yeah, like for some reason, the, a person that you met on the very first day, you felt comfortable I was, enough I was to start grabbing her, her toes, her. saying this little piggy, and you yeah. said you would like to suck them, and right. you invited her to dinner. Yes, we know the whole story. Okay. Her aunt, the, her, now, her Aunt Carol, who was another hot babe, um, and actually it was kind of a way of getting Aunt Carol into the palm of my hand. How's that? Well, because when you've got two girls that you kind of got the eyes for, right, and yeah. you're not sure which one is going to grab for you, but you do want both the one of them. that right. You do want them. I definitely want both of them. But if one's going to not, you wanted Annie Carroll more. Mm, that's a fifty-fifty shot because um, you know it all depends on. Uh, which one would prefer being with me or not? But uh, her auntie Carol is another hot piece of ass, and I'll. Have uh, you talked to her at all? She's she te she emailed me on Facebook, telling me to leave <laughs> leave my niece Heather alone, and uh, and that she's got the hots for me, and that she's always loved me, and this that and the other that thing. That is so sweet. So really I'm is. I I says well how Great do icebreaker? And I kind of said to her I go well how the hell do you think I want you? I go, this is the best way of wanting you, by going after your niece and then really getting you to fall in love with me even better. Whoa, what a great strategy. So You really are a ladies' man. Mo play, mo play. <laughs> no, 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 Eric, Eric, you're a little early. I don't know if, uh... anyway, why don't we start that? We'll, we'll kind of tell you when, <laughs> I'll give you the cue. All right. Should I set yeah, the scene? Yeah, absolutely. Why don't you set the scene now? Okay, this... This month is a tough month for America. Last week we did our special uh, 10th anniversary 9-11 show, if you guys remember. But t this weekend we are taping this um, show on an even, maybe even almost as bad day, which was September 17th, which, you know, Perry knows what a terrible day in American history that was. Why don't you explain was. it was, Perry? 
I don't remember what happened on Explain September 17th. Explain what it was, Perry. I don't know September what happened. September 17th? Yeah, what happened on 1862? September 1862? I don't know what happened in 1862. I wasn't around back then. Battle of Antietam? Come on, man. Who's Antietam? Oh, geez. McClellan stopped Lee's forces. Jesus in Christ. Sharpsburg? It was what the is- bloodiest day in American history, over 23,000 casualties in one day. And kind of what's Where set, is this? And what really kind of set the standard for the way we live life today, presently. So I'm taking us way back to the Civil War. Okay. Oh, that's and what the it is. the last days of the Civil War, where we head to a southern plantation, a shell of its former self, the once majestic Chantilly Plantation. Now the only person who lives there is the beautiful Belle Fauntleroy. No farmhands are still there except for one last guy. Big Buck, the last big still slave giant black dude. Belle Fauntleroy has always loved Buck but couldn't tell him because society wouldn't permit it. And Buck always loved Belle Fauntleroy. So the Civil War is winding down and they know that they could finally be together. And Belle Fauntleroy makes her world famous lemon cake and brings it down to the field for Buck who's hungry and they can hear the troops starting to come and they know they only have a little time left and Buck really wants to suck on Bell's toes and he wants the lemon cake. What's going to happen? Dan, you're Bell Fauntleroy, the beautiful Southern lady. And Perry, you're Big Buck. Who loves that Southern Bell? Mole play! Uh, I do declare, Big Buck, could you come by me f- for a moment, please? Uh, I don't know. What, what do you mean you don't know? What the fuck are you doing? I don't doing? know. What are you doing? I don't know. Perry. I guess mole play, right? You're oh, no, big I buck. I know. Big buck. Go. You're a black guy. So Say, baby. What'd you be talking about? You're a big, me? strong guy. You're like seven feet tall. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me let me do this again. We'll start again. Mole play. Well, I do declare, big buck. Could you come here for a moment, please? Hold on. Hold, hold the phone there, kid. Yeah. What, what is a phone? That's something Alexander Graham Bell just invented a few weeks ago. She Bell brings the cake over to Big Buck and starts feeding it to him. I, no, thank you. I I made a little cake for you. It's lemon. Do you like lemon? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, would you like a little bite? I, I'll take a little bite, not a lot, though. Oh, my, a bite. my goodness. Buck, One bite will be fine. Buck, your arms are so strong. My right arm a little dead though right now, you know. What is that? I kind I kind of hurt myself from all your hard work. Yeah, big masturbating, buck. you know. Kind of oh, hurt big myself buck. masturbating. You are just silly as one of the big field hands out here. Yeah. Buck leans in to taste the cake. Eat the cake, Buck. Just one piece. Okay. Not a fucking. Just hair. No. Just have a bite. I'm not having a bite that fucking huge. I can eat this. That because you got a mouth that will. Take that. Come on, Big Buck. You're seven feet tall. Bell shows Buck how to do it. Then Dude. Buck, Buck likes Bell's you're get, style. You're getting yourself dirty, too. Oh, I do declare this is good cake. I'm not Buck eating. Knows, Buck knows he I'm can have a... not eating a huge slice. No well, have as much way. as you can. No fucking way. Just have a bite then, no, man. A, a small bite, not Five. a big fucking massive bite. Let me just put this in your mouth, Big Buck. Come big here. Buck reaches over, Come opens over. his mouth. All, Come here, open your mouth. That's big, all a bunch of stuff. Big Buck, just open I your don't mouth, put it Big in your Buck. Hand, big Buck. Oh, oh, Big Buck, I do declare that got all over your fanny pack. Oh, and Big bunch Buck. Bunch of stuffing and shit. How's it taste? I don't like it. Big Buck loves it. I don't like it at all. Would you like to come back to the no. plantation, Big Buck? Sorry. Would you like to check out Bell's toes, said Bell to Big no, Buck? No, thank you. Look at my toes. I do Sorry. The Would you like to have some cake Shh. off my toes, Buck? Bell puts some lemon cake on her toes and puts it... Fuck <laughs> you! Perry, Fuck Perry, you! Perry, this is just for the shot. It's mole play, Just dude. take the shot. It's mole play. Come on. No, God damn it! I can't eat the fucking frosting. Uh, get, get get me regular cake. Okay, right, just frosting is is fucking bad for we'll get me. Get rid of the frosting. How about frosting. just the cake part? Be- yeah, right, just right. the cake part. Bell takes just the cake part. Puts and all I can have is one bite. That's all you. Or else have. I can, or else I'll get the shits. 
Oh, add two. Stop, stop. Big buggy. That's all. Can't How do they do that? Just, the, just have the rest. Just have yeah. the rest. Just have oh. the rest. Just eat the. No, yeah. I don't want it. Oh, you put my foot in your mouth. That's all. And that was Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play! Well, I got to tell you one thing. I give you a lot of credit, Perry. The cake's pretty good. You are a good actor, too. If you've got an assignment, Thank you. you will do it. I believed he was Big Buck. I believed he was in love with my toes. Yeah, sure. Well, you know, we're heading towards the end of the show, and it's always kind of sad to say goodbye. Uh, this has been our second show at the new podcast network. Keep in mind, we really need advertisers. So if you want to make a fortune at your company, advertise with the Big Three Podcast. Exactly. We do need those advertisers to help us out. You know, Coke companies, Toys R Us. Yeah, that's going to happen. That's, uh, that's probably going to happen. Vivid. Vivid? Playboy, Penthouse, we, 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 we need you, we. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah, but some it, Wii games. But if you don't have the money to be a big sponsor, keep in mind, you can always help us out with a little donation on our website through PayPal. So do that. This next segment was always the highlight in the public access show. But on this, not so good. As a matter of fact, it might be the worst thing we do. And we may have to drop it at one point. It's time once again for Perry's Corner. It's Perry's Corner. You want to you drop Perry's Corner? Well, a lot of people are saying that it really brings the show it's down. It's barely a corner anymore. You never are prepared. Because right now, what I'm going to be talking about is the women's that should have been on, you know, that should have been in my pants. Over there at the, the Windy City Heat over there. You mean in a segment that should have been during Guy Talk? No, you're not going to do that. I want to hear your prepared little thing that you were supposed to do for Perry's Corner. It's not that hard. You prepare something, you talk about anything. Okay. You, you want to hear my impression of Perry's Corner? What's that? Okay, go ahead. You introduce me. All right, Mo, we'll do that. Uh, it's time once again for Perry's Corner. It's Perry's Corner. Yeah, yeah, I really don't have anything prepared. I don't have anything prepared at all. Now ask me why. Why not? Yeah, I'm tired, you guys. I'm tired, and I'm so my neck hurts and my arm, and I'm just tired, and I didn't know. Well, that was Perry's corner. I knew. It's Perry's corner. All right, now you do it. I still know. All right, so let, let's try to my get my arm still stop, hurts, stop, my neck Perry, still hurts, and you're Perry, still tired. Stop. Let I'm me not tired. Perry, shut up. Oh, oh! So Tell us what happened with let's the sunbather. Introduce, let's introduce again. Here it is. It's time once again for Perry's Corner. It's Perry's Corner. All right. You want to talk about the third floor outside balcony. All right. We're going to talk about the third floor outside balcony. Oh, no, no, balcony. no, 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 no. I don't want to hear what you and that guy did. I don't. I don't. I'll tell you why. Because you can't unhear it. Because I You don't can't unhear it. Stop it. I the people don't, don't want to hear about the I ins and outs and the whole thing. Until and the whole you thing. walked out right. onto the okay, fucking sure, patio. Right. Fine. Right. Sure. But now when I say this shit, people are going to know where we're at. We don't have to say the location, you fucking moron. We're on the third floor. That's all you got to say. Go. Over there. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're not over here. We're over there. You know, you're here? No, I, I don't know what the fuck. Okay, talking what I'm about. talking about is over there, you know? No, I don't. I was up there, and then I came down here, and now I'm over there. What are you doing? I'm, a, I'm a here. You're here. Okay. This I'm is, fucking around. You know, it's pretty all right, stupid. All right, now. About that fucking prick over there on, the, on that there balcony up there. I never saw him when I walked out. I walked out and went straight to the chair. Straight, sat down right. To the straight. Sat down in the chair. Sashayed right started, over. Started to uh, check my messages uh, on my fucking phone. Is that what phone. you call it? That's what you call it. That's right. That's what I call yeah. it. Checking my messages oh, gross. on my phone. Gross. Gross. Do we, do we want you to leave now or no, later? Is this your corner, Perry? Well, you know what? No, we're talking about the fucking roof. All right, but is this your corner? Is this what you're going to do in your corner? 
Even Nick says, did you prepare for your corner today? And I says, not yet. Yeah. And you are now here and it's not prepared at all. And, you know, I got to prepare myself at least a day early when I have a clear head. All right. Forget it. This is as stupid as anything I've ever seen. And this is why we may drop Perry's Corner. That was it. Perry's Corner. It's Perry's Corner. Well, boy, the time really goes by fast, and that was a terrible corner, Perry. Uh, I want to thank. I've got to say something about my corner, okay? What? First off, yes, I've been a bad boy. I've been a real, real bad boy, and I'll tell you why. I've got three broads. I don't know what to do with. I got Terry down in the South Bay. I've got Kiko in the Marina. I've got Carol or four chicks. Carol slash her niece. Heather. Yeah. By the way, if I can just say one thing, you recently went out to dinner with somebody. Who did you yeah, go to dinner I went with? Yeah, I went to dinner. With, well, pff, what with uh, Terry or with uh, Kiko? I don't, I don't know who you went out to dinner with. That's what I'm asking about. I was with Kiko the other night, and I was with uh, with Terry a, about a week ago. Well, boy, am I glad you mentioned that during Guy Talk, with the place you could have easily mentioned that. So I guess we're I gonna, should have, huh? Yeah, I guess we'll have to find out next week. I would like to. I think, can't wait to find out next yeah, week. Uh, oh, especially you know what, Kiko. You know what this is? This is what they call a cliffhanger. So next week we're going to find out about Perry's ladies. I would like to thank Mary Jane for doing it. Thanks, Mary Jane. Unbelievably special job. She is truly the best. Uh, I want to thank Eric Moreno for coming in and helping us out with sound today. Uh, Perry, Mole, it was a good show. I'm glad you were here. Did you have fun today, Mole? I sure did. All right, Perry. I never have fun at this fucking place. You know that. Uh, All right, well, let's put it in here, guys. Here we are. We are the Big Three. All right. Bye, Eddie. See you next week. I know you're out there, buddy. Don't forget, $10 shout-outs. Advertise with us. Give us some money through PayPal if you want to make a donation. Please help. Goodbye. Thanks, Bar.